South Africa's golden girl Tatiana Schoonmaker etched her name into the history books with her world record and gold medal in the pool at the Tokyo Olympics last year. Her next goal is excelling at the Commonwealth Games and to also make swimming more accessible in South Africa. ENCA's Justin Ford has more. Tatiana Schoonmaker and her coach Rocco Meiring knew she would go fast in Tokyo. But even then, Schoonmaker surprised herself with a world record-breaking swim. I think a bit weird. It still feels like a dream, to be honest with myself. I think I pinch myself every single day still. Um, I think the only place where you kind of realize it is when you're walking in the shops and someone comes up to you and they're so happy to meet you. And it's still a bit weird because I'm like, I'm actually a nobody. <laughs> I'm like this random person. Um, so, yeah, I think that's the only time when it does kind of sink in. So it's very special. The postponed summer games because of the coronavirus pandemic allowed her more preparation time and she benefited from that time to get mentally focused. Because COVID was maybe this negative thing, I think we took a positive out of it in the sense that everyone was going through the same thing and every person in the world was faced with the same challenge which made it so much easier to get over because it wasn't just you and you didn't feel like you were going through this by yourself. So. That kind of made you positive to look forward to the next because we all had to get through this together. <laughs> Swimming for Team SA comes with all the pressures of those who came before. Well, to be honest, if you look at the stats, um, swimming is the second highest for medals at Olympics. So I think strong and I think we're still getting stronger, especially the women's side of swimming. Um, I think we've been having a lot of men lately. So we are ready to show them that we can maybe sometimes have a bigger women's team than a men's team. Schoonmarker is also focusing on the wider potential of the sport and wants to assist other promising swimmers where she can. I just want to somehow make a difference in maybe getting swimming into communities that don't even know swimming. If they want to pursue the swimming dream and want to find their love for swimming, that's where I want to jump in. And then also financially supporting those that literally have to draw the line and say they cannot go to the Olympics or to World Champs because they don't have the funds. If I could do that, it would be amazing. Her immediate focus this year is the Commonwealth Games in Birmingham at the end of July. My first major international uh, medal was also at Commonwealth Games in 2018. So, yeah, we had World Champs. It was um, supposed to happen in May, but it got postponed now due to COVID. So um, it, it does leave a chance to just really focus on Commonwealth Games. And, yeah, we might not have a lot of events. Um, we're still with the whole COVID situation, but we have to make the most of what we have. And, yeah, Commonwealth Games, I'm very excited. And that's basically it for the year. Schoonmaker is determined to be a positive role model and will continue to use her influence to elevate South African swimming to another level. Justin Ford, Cape Town.